Ron's Gone Wrong was the very first family film I attended a press screening for, which means that there were a ton of children in the audience. Now, if you've been on a plane before, or if you've seen a family film with a bunch of kids in it, then you know that it could get a little bit dicey. But luckily enough for me, every single child in this screening was well-behaved and completely engaged for the entire movie. They were laughing at the jokes, they were cheering at the fun moments. They had a great time with this movie. But what about all the mommy bloggers, all the family critics, and what did I think of the movie too? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, my name is Brandon, aka The Brando Critic. Thank you guys so much for being here. I'm sending you all positive vibes your way. But if it's your first time here, welcome of course. If you guys like movie reactions, early movie reviews just like this, and hang out live streams where we talk about movies, then this is the place for you. Consider hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. And so do my partners at Movie Scene Canada, so make sure you check them out as well. The link will be down below in the description. But today, I'm gonna give you my honest, no BS review for Ron's Gone Wrong, and tell you if it's worth a watch. So, we got Ron's Gone Wrong from the same team that brought us Arthur Christmas. Now, I haven't actually seen Arthur Christmas. I've only heard great things. So if you guys have seen it, let me know down below. But as an adult, I'll be honest with you guys, I find it harder and harder to be impressed by family animated movies nowadays. Now, I don't know if that's just because I'm losing touch with my childlike innocence or I'm just becoming more cynical, but I think the reason is I'm able to tell the difference between an animated movie that is just made to shut your kids up and there's no magic or imagination in there and the movies that have a compelling story, themes and messages that appeal to both adults and kids and a movie that can really move you emotionally. This is one of those movies. Ron's Gone Wrong, I think the best word to describe this movie is genuine. And I'm gonna talk about the best part of the movie right now. They are the themes, they are the messages. This movie tackles subjects like screen addiction and data harvesting from big tech companies and clout chasing online. But most importantly, how friendship is a two-way street and the true meaning of what it's like to be a real friend. And I was watching this movie and thinking about my own life, about how, yes, me, like everyone else, we are addicted to our phones. My screen time is just, Ever since the pandemic, of course, it's just been extremely high. That's what we do. We're just on our screens all the time. And how it's really rotting our brains, how we're constantly seeking validation and our entire worth is based on how many likes we get on Instagram and how many subscribers we get on YouTube. It's very easy to fall into that trap. And how social media is just allowing people to be anonymous and show their true colors and be extremely vicious and mean sometimes. But it also made me think about the friends that I currently do have and why our friendship is so special. And of course, like Barney in this movie, and I will talk about the story in a minute, it did remind me of how when you get into high school, at least for me, high school started in eighth grade. And in the early teenage years, it really started to matter what other people thought of you and how school became one big popularity contest. But this movie reminds us that that really doesn't matter, especially when you have good, solid, real friends. Now the story of Ron's Gone Wrong is Barney is this shy, awkward kid who has a problem making friends at recess. He lives with his dad who is struggling to sell all these little tiny inventions all over the world, very much like the father in Gremlins, and they both live with their eccentric Eastern European grandmother, and you know, she has the most laughs in the movie other than the Bebot Ron. Now what exactly is a Bebot? Well, it's a little iPhone-like device. It's a little robot that can turn into different colors and can play games and they know everything about the kids and they send out their information to look for other friends. And of course, Barney is the only kid who doesn't have one and he really wants one for his birthday to try to fit in. He wants the new shiny toy to be like everyone else. So he gets his Bebot, but it is broken. Yes, his functioning is not up to 100% and Barney just has to make do with what he's got but of course, they find the true meaning of friendship between each other. And like I said earlier about this film being genuine, I didn't feel pandered to. This movie treats its audience with respect. It treats us like we have intelligence and we can understand you know, the bad things about technology and they tackle subject matter that really speaks to both adults and kids. And I think for family films, if you really get that down pat, you have a movie that the kids can enjoy, the adults can enjoy, and there's messages that appeal to both of them, then you're golden. And on top of that, this story is told to us in this really gorgeous way. The animation in this movie, it really impressed me. There was a couple shots where I'm like, I feel like I'm watching a Disney Pixar movie. Now, I will admit that Barney's ears look a little strange, <laughs> you know, and they were pretty distracting. It was just the animation style. They wanted to draw them, you know, quite large. Really, the ears didn't distract me that much. It didn't derail the entire movie for me. It's the only animation style piece where I'm like, 
it's a little strange but you know the bee bots and everything the creativity the world it looks really well done and just the entire story it was so heartfelt it was so cute and that's really all you want from an animated movie. You want a story that will move you emotionally. And this movie totally did that. And to be honest, I think I would have really loved this movie if one, more of the jokes landed. Again, this movie didn't feel like it was forcing jokes down your throat, right? Zach Galifianakis as the B-Bot was quite hilarious. You know, there were some jokes that actually made the entire audience crack up, but it wasn't like a laugh a minute type of movie. And I feel like some of the jokes could have been better, right? They could have landed more often. But for the most part, the jokes do land. I just wish that there were more funny jokes. Sometimes I felt the pacing was a bit off, right? I felt like this movie was quite long and I felt like some of the scenes repeated each other in terms of the messaging. Like, okay, we understand that this is the part where, you know, they kind of go through a fight, but then they go through another fight. And it's like, didn't we already go through this before? Again, it's all good stuff, but I feel like this movie could have been a little bit shorter. There is a surprise villain in the movie, which of course really isn't a surprise if you guys have ever seen a movie before and you see the first scene, you're like, oh, that's the villain. Again, it's pretty obvious. But the only real story element in this movie that I felt could have been fleshed out even more and maybe we could have used those other scenes that felt recycled to really flesh it out is the relationship between Barney and his dad they talk about how his mom has died and they didn't really have a relationship and while I understand why it's in there I just feel like they didn't really explore it enough I felt like you could have even had and another really heartfelt emotional storyline there but it didn't feel fully realized so those are my only complaints with the movie there's nothing really wrong with this movie they do a lot of things right talking about how kids especially are now addicted to their screens and it's teaching them to seek validation from people they don't even know and it's not just children right it is basically everyone we're always posting on instagram looking for likes and we're always chasing clout we need more views we need more subscribers we need more followers we need more likes and that is basically how we judge our self-worth but of course this movie teaches us you don't need that stuff if you have solid real friends who care about each other anyways guys ron's gone wrong was a fantastic movie i'm gonna give it a four out of five i really did enjoy it and if you guys have children i think this is a great movie to go see with them you're not gonna be cringing going like oh my god i gotta take my kids to the movies i think this is gonna be one that you guys both can enjoy so what did you guys think of ron's gone wrong if you have seen it let me know down in the comment section down below and again hit like and subscribe if you guys haven't done so already and i will see you guys in the next video take care